Let's get it. Yes, sir. What up, fam? It's your boy G Ridge. Got another one for you. Easy, easy, quick way to bake cabbage and some lemon pepper pork chops. Now the lemon pepper pork chops, fam, we're gonna do them on do them on the indoor grill. Easy dinner. I hope everyone having a nice, blessed Sunday. Happy birthday. Shout out to my boy Los. He welcome to the 50 Club, fam. Yes, sir. Love you to life, bro. You and everybody over there, have a good time. You know, I'll catch you on the rebound. I, I'm, I'm gonna have to sit this one out. You know why? I will see you soon. All of y'all just to say hello, all right? Anyway, without further ado, let's get started with this recipe. It's going down. I hope y'all having a blessed Sunday. All right, so without further ado, we're going in. Okay, so I have some pork chops. We're going to start with the pork chops first, okay, fam? All right, so let's get started. All right, so right here, fam, this is what we have. I'm going to show you. I have four thick-cut pork chops, okay? Now, a lot of you out there don't do the pork chops or do the pork. That's okay. You can use lamb chops for this one. See how nice and thick they are? Get another one for you. Look at that. Nice and thick. I only have four of them. That's all we need, okay? Hold on, let me wash my hands. So, all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some seasoning salt on it, garlic powder, black pepper, and last but not least, the lemon pepper. This is the lemon pepper, that gourmet lemon pepper. It's real good, Teresa and I, and the family love it. You can find it in Ross, uh, Marshall, or one of those stores like that, or Dee Dee's Discount. Yes, sir. All right. And right here in this little cup here, I have some olive oil. That's what I'm going to grill it on, okay? I'm going to oil the pan down with olive oil. That's what I prefer. You can choose or whatever oil or, or even butter, whatever you like. It shouldn't be a problem. All right. So we're going in. So first thing we're going to do, fam, we're going to take one tablespoon of seasoning salt, put it in here, two teaspoons of black pepper. Yes, sir. All right, you got two tablespoons of garlic powder. Yes, sir, you got to get that garlic in there. Last but not least, we're going to go with one-fourth of a cup of the lemon pepper seasoning. When I tell you, that's a thing of beauty. And a lot of you should know that by now, that that's a good, good lemon pepper. If you, have, if you haven't tried it, I advise you to go check it out. They usually keep it, like I said, at Ross or Marshall's. Or DD discount, one or the other. Look, look how, look how it's coming in. Yeah, you see it. Look how it's coming into fruition. Mm-hmm. Mix it up. So what we're gonna do? We're just gonna go ahead and pour it directly into the um Ziploc bag along with the meat. Make sure that meat is dried off as best as you can, fam. You don't want to mess your uh, mess the flavor up. You don't want water all in the bottom of your bag. All right. Yeah, that should be pretty good. Now that should season all four pieces okay we're gonna go ahead do it like this here zip it up shake it around a little bit I don't know how I'll do it all right open it back up we're gonna pour the rest in here oh that smell good all right zip it up Mm -hmm. Flip it, flip it, flip it, flip it, rub it down. Oh no! <laughs> anyway, fam. Oh yeah. See how it's good and it's getting good and coated. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna let it sit in the refrigerator, not too long, just about 15 to 20 minutes to let it stick and soak on there. Okay? Because we're going right to the grill. We don't have to let it sit too long. Ooh, wee, that's good and coated. Look at that. See that, family? Uh-huh. I ain't playing with y'all. All right, so I'm going to sit in the refrigerator for about 15 to 20 minutes, and we'll be back once I pour the oil on here and while the, uh, while the grill is getting hot. And after that, when I put the meat on there, for a little while, I'm, I'm going to brown each side, okay? We're going to brown each side. Then we're going to add the lid back to it, okay, so it can work on the middle of the meat. That's when we and when we do that, that's when we're going to move on to special of today, baked cabbage. 
Yes, sir. With some red bell peppers and smoked sausage in it. So hold on tight. I'll be right back. All right, family. So here we go. Ooh, wee. <laughs> Ooh, wee. That's good and seasoned, coated on both sides. Look at that. That's a thing of beauty. Yes, yeah, sir. So what we're going to do, we're going to brown each side. Okay. Like I told you, then we're going to add the lid on. Turn it down a little bit and, and slow, and then we're going to slow grill it so it can cook the middle of the meat. Stick with your boy. Yes, sir. See that? Let it cook a little. Ooh, that smells heavenly. Ooh. See, look, look, look at the seasoning on it. You're going to love it. You hear me? You can use, you don't have to do pork chops, you get any kind of chops you want to use. But put that, that particular recipe on the pork chop, especially if you want to grill it like this here. Outdoor grill, indoor grill, you name it. Whatever you like to do. Alright? Look at that. Nice and thick. Look at that. Bam. Come on now. You know it don't take that long. For pork chop, but well, we're gonna slow this thing down after we get this side. And you can add or a amount of oil, extra oil if you need it, especially if the pan getting dry. But if you put that lid on it, it shouldn't get dry. All right. Oh, that smells so good, fam. Okay, that should be it. Now we're gonna put the lid on it and check it and flip it periodically. We're gonna turn it down. All right, just a little bit. All right, see that? Okay, now on to the main event. Let's get to this cabbage. The so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, go ahead and cook these sausages. It's about eighty percent of the way. The smoked sausages. Okay, we're gonna add the onions and the red bell peppers to it. We're not gonna season it with anything because we're gonna put seasoning in there all together along with the cabbage. You'll see. So hold on tight. I'll be right back. Okay, fam, here we go. Now, what I have down here is vegetable oil. We're going to go ahead and throw the onions and red bell peppers in there. All right, fam, so this is what you're going to start stirring it up. Let it cook a little bit. All right, we're going to let it cook down. Now, I just want to show you these. Oh, mama, there goes that man. Look how pretty that look, fam. You want to keep that covered, keep it down on low. We just want to let that push that to the side a little bit. Keep it cook, keep that cooking low. Just working on the inside of the meat. All right. You probably can't hear these onions and bell pepper sizzling because the big pot I got over there, you know what that is. That's for core, fam. You already know. Put it down below if you know what I'm cooking for core. <laughs> All right. So I, like I said, I ain't season nothing on these onions or bell pepper. You don't want to do that. Put nothing on them because we're going to season it all together. Right now, we just make sure they get done. Cabbage, you know the cabbage don't take that long. 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. Check it. Depends on what kind of oven you got. Some ovens get hotter than others. You check it enough to satisfy you, all right? All right, that looks good. Now, we're going to go ahead and add the smoked sausage to it. You know we love these Georgia boys smoke sausages down here, family. Okay, we're gonna let this cook. So I see the color that I like. Then we're gonna set it to the side. And then we're gonna bring on the cabbage, all right? And the rest of the seasons that you're gonna need. Okay, fam. Look at that. You see how it's coming together? Mm-hmm. You know, we're not going to throw none of this away that's in the bottom. We're going to keep all this stuff. Okay? Turn this off. Look at that. That's about 80%, 90 90% done. Mm -hmm. We're going to sit that to the side. All right? Then later I'm going to put it in there when it cools off. All right? So now, on to the cabbage. Okay, fam. Now we're ready. As you see here. I got my cabbage all cut up and stuff. If I need to add some more, I will. First thing you're going to do, you're going to spray the pan down real good. Whatever oil you can. 
I like to use this pan. All right, we're gonna sit that to the side, all right? Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and put our cabbage in this pan. This should be pretty good. This should be a perfect amount. Cause you know this cabbage gonna cook down, family. Absolutely perfect, all right? Okay, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and add, I'm gonna go ahead and put the onions and the bell peppers on there now. I mean the onions and the, yeah, the red bell peppers and smoked sauce. Okay, we're gonna spread it out. Yep, we're not gonna pull none of that juice off of there. Yep, put it right on in there. You don't want, I don't want that many sausages, fam, because I don't want it to dominate the cabbage, okay? We're just trying to flavor the cabbage. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do right here, I have one half a cup of melted butter. That's going to go all the way to the bottom and season this cabbage up. You heard me. One half a cup melted butter. You got two tablespoons of garlic powder. Just sprinkle it on there. You're going to love it. Trust me. One tablespoon of regular salt. Just one table. You don't need that much because you already have the uh, melted butter, salted melted butter. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try to mix this up the best way you can. All right. So I'm going to try to mix this up the best way you can. Just kind of push it on down in there, especially if you're paying just like mine. I mean, it's like absolutely perfect. A perfect fit but it's always to the top as you can see there you go. you can always go back and mix it up there's my cue okay the oven is preheated at 400 degrees and I'm gonna change that 400 degrees for 25 minutes all right that you get your cabbage good and done you are sir gonna mix it up as best way you can y'all gonna like this fam I like it already, it ain't even done yet. Mm-hmm. And you're not gonna put a lid on it, fam. No lid. Okay, what we're gonna do is take some of this old Mrs. Dance. This is what I'm doing too. I'm adding, I'm adding living as I go. Original blend of Mrs. Dance. I'm gonna sprinkle this top here. And you know the Mrs. Dad's don't have no, like zero to no salt in it, okay? It's just for extra added flavor. OMG. Mama, there goes that man. You get this part here off of here. I don't want no crumbs on it. No, no, no. Look at that family. Yes, yeah, sir. We going in 400 degrees for 25 minutes. I see you. Hold on. Matter of fact, I'm going to put this in the oven and show you all these pork chops I got almost ready. Don't put no lid on it, family. Ooh wee, ooh wee, wee wee wee. Bring this back to the forefront. Bang! <laughs> ooh. All right. You see it? See that? You see how juicy they stand? They're not burning up. Stick with your boy. All right, fam. There it is. It took like 28 minutes, fam. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Yes, yeah, sir. Look at that. <laughs> Done and cooked all the way through. Look at that. I like the brownness that it got on the edges. Put up here a little bit for you. Ooh. Look at that, fam. Nice, soft, and juicy. Yes, yeah, sir. I told y'all. That's another one for you. Good old baked cabbage. And bam, they've been stewing and stewing. Look how juicy they are. They still look at the integrity. Ooh. Yes, sir. I hope y'all enjoy this recipe. You're going to love it. Nice and simple. Quick recipe. And let the oven and the grill do its work. Now hold on tight. Here's my finished plate. Fam, so here's my finished plate. Yes, sir. Baby going to love this right here. That's all you need right there, family.
You can add you some bread or whatever you want to, but that's all we want. That's all we're going to do right here. Yes, sir. I appreciate y'all, fam. Love y'all to life. G Rich out. And another one. And you're mine. Bye, y'all.